In this lesson, we do some work on reading a calendar. Example. These questions are about August 2010. So there's the calendar for that month. The M stands for Monday, T for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Our first question, how many days are in August? Well, the last day in August there is the 31st, so there are 31 days in August. What day of the week is August 20? So let's find August 20 to start with. There it is, circled, matching it up with the Friday. Now, just before we move on, August 20, another way of saying that is the 20th of August. So you need to be familiar with both ways of saying a date. What date is the third Tuesday in August? Well, there's our Tuesday column, if you like. That's the first Tuesday, the second, and the third. So we're after the third. So the third Tuesday in August is the 17th of August. Terrific. How many Sundays are in August? We're looking at the Sunday column. One, two, three, four, five. There are five Sundays in August 2010. Okay, that doesn't mean there's five Sundays in every August, but certainly in 2010, five. What are the dates for the last weekend in August? Now, a weekend is comprises of Saturday and Sunday, and we want the last weekend. So looking at that, we can see that the very last weekend, the last Saturday and Sunday in August, is the 28th and 29th of August. What day of the week is the 1st of September? Well, we've got the calendar for August, not September, but September is the next month. We can see that the last day in August is the 31st. And sometimes on calendars, you might have the next few days in a, a gray or lighter color like that. That's for the next month. Also, before the start of the month, you may also get some numbers like that, okay? That's the dates. Well, the month before August would be July, wouldn't it? So that would be July. But to answer this question, the 1st of September would be on a Wednesday. Excellent. Well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck with your...